And there is a critique even in America and European nations that they are ignoring the public opinion and technocrats they are handling the governments. And similarly we are observing uh, attack after attacks in uh, Canada on different institutions and even uh, businesses. So how do you see this development? Is democracy is declining uh, in international system because Chinese economic model and developmental model is more attractive than the democratic model? No, I don't agree with your last statement that the democratic, the this developmental model of China is more attractive than the democratic model. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you look into the facts that the democracy is now turned into a social condition. Okay. Okay. But there are the certain factors which need to strengthen this very social condition. Mm -hmm. But the question is that we cannot say that there is a linear progress in the so far the democratic evolution is concerned. It is to some extent for me, it is just like a zigzag. Mm. You are not going in a straight direction, but you are going in a zigzag. Okay. Uh, here I just came to know, uh, would like to uh, quote uh, uh, something from the Samuel P. Huntington. Mm. He was of the view that the democracy is stable, mm. but the process of democratization mm. is unstable. Mm. Because there are the certain pull and push factors, mm. which are going to drag the democracy and they are play as, they act as an outlier, mm. which are going to affect badly to the democracy. Mm. But the question is that within the democratic package, which is given by the different democracies in the world towards people, one thing, uh, it's my reckoning, I may be wrong, okay. that the democracy pr promised the welfare state. Mm -hmm. My issue is that in these countries, that very welfare state, mm -hmm. which has been connected with the democracy, mm -hmm. uh, which is considered as a residual of any democratic process, mm -hmm. that is going to be compromised. Okay. Because welfare is connected with the revenue. Revenue is connected with the capacity. Mm. Capacity is connected with the economic activity. Mm. If the economic activity is going to be compromised, mm -hmm. so definitely your capacity is compromised, your revenue collection is compromised, mm. and your welfare state is compromised. Mm. And if the government is going to spend more on the welfare states, then it, it is going to generate more and more inflation. It means that if the economy and economic prosperity is declining in the Western world, so the democracy and if economic prosperity is achieved by Chinese, it means that welfare would be seen there? Yeah, uh, uh, here I would like to say something, mm -hmm. because there is a shift that we have observed in the recent few decades mm -hmm. in American economy and the European economy that they have shifted from the uh, goods economy, manufacturing economy to the services economy. Mm -hmm. But services economy is the high-end economy, the people who are more uh, sound, skillful, and at the top edge and the cutting edge, they are going to get more. Mm -hmm. So within the economy, there is a mechanism of redistribution. Okay. When that productive side is missing in these countries, mm -hmm. the economy will adjust itself with the situation, social conditions, and it automatically generate a redistributive process of the sources mm. of the economic dividends. I think that very part is missing. Okay. And that was initially plugged in by the states. Mm. That states came over there, states plugged in, and they tried to uh, channelize that redistributive process. But unfortunately, it has proven to be artificial. Mm. Now, this is the time. Mm. And uh, that's why here I'd like to mention also the Trump, mm. that the first America policy. Mm. that the manufacturing process must be done within the United States of America. Mm. Okay, so China, the way the Chinese model is going to be appreciated, but how much it is going to be emulated by the rest of the world, I don't know. But it is appreciated in the sense that, because China itself is a manufacturing engine in the world. Mm. So, uh, the way that economic activity automatically, mm. spontaneously, instantaneously, mm. generates a redistributive mechanism of the sources, mm. of the economic dividends. Mm. Where it does not matter that how much state is going to be involved. Okay. So in this way, I can say that. But mm. this is the time I can simply say that it is not a bad time for the democracy. Mm. But it is very much bad time for the welfare states. Welfare states. Okay, fine. You talked about the Samuel P. Huntington. Yes. Uh, there is another a very big name in uh, American society, in American academia, which is Noam Chomsky. 
he okay. has written a very wonderful book who rules the world oh, in which he his point of view is that uh, american democracy is declining since world war 2 mm. and he gives evidences many evidences he says that the common american people does not, do not have any say in decision making mm. but rather the capitalist class and the powerful class and the governmental institutions they are dictating the policy making so uh, do you agree with this that if the champion of democracy uh, cannot save the democracy in its real spirit how democracy can be protected okay. in other parts okay. of the world okay. for example mm-hmm. noam chomsky is not completely uh, criticizing all the democratic process in the world mm-hmm. he has just mentioned the economic uh, democratic process in america america is not a declared welfare state despite the fact that it 